Imagine making a business website without any coding, confusing programs, or big time and money investments. Sound pretty good? Well, that's exactly what Hosting Your Website Builder offers. With its drag and drop editor and built-in e-commerce features, even a total beginner can have a website up and running in no time. So in this video, you'll see a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own website using Hosting Your Website Builder. So let's jump right into it. All right, so first things first, you need to get a Hosting Your Website Builder plan. It gives you all the tools and templates needed, plus hosting, which is basically like renting a space on a server to make your website accessible online. To get a plan, simply click the link in the description, which will take you to this page, and scroll down to the available website builder plans. I'd really recommend going with a business plan because aside from other elements, it offers many AI tools for easier content creation and e-commerce features, which are perfect for business websites. Next, select the preferred plan duration. I'll choose the four-year plan, which is the cheapest version in the long run, and it includes a free domain name for one year. And in case you're wondering what a domain is, well, it's basically your website's unique name on the internet, like website.com, for example. Now, once you select the plan, sign in or log into your account and then fill in your information. You can also use our special code WB10 for a 10% discount. Just click here, insert the WB10 code and click apply. Next, it's time to set up your website. Once you've got your plan, you'll dive right into the Website Builder's onboarding flow, which will guide you through the setup process step by step. You'll be asked right from the start to choose whether you're building a new website or migrating an old one. So click the first option and press next. Then you will have to select the platform. Hostinger's Website Builder is quick to set up, user-friendly, and packed with AI tools for content creation. But if you want more control, WordPress with its wide range of plugins might be your go-to. If WordPress is more your style, check out the video in the description for a step-by-step -step guide on building a WordPress site with Hostinger. But since this video is about hosting your website builder, we're choosing this one. Okay, now you'll need to select the domain name you previously registered to connect your website to. That way, when someone types your domain name, they'll land right on the site you're about to create. And remember that free domain that came with your plan? Well, you can use that perk right here. But first, really take your time and think about what your domain name is going to be, because the domain name influences your business branding and searchability. This is, well, not going to be a great example, but let's pretend that I'm selling socks. So the name will be My Land of Socks. Let's just type it into the search bar right here. Moving on, choosing the appropriate top level domain or domain extension is just as important. Businesses frequently choose .com because of its popularity, while, well, for example, networks or tech sites may choose .net. So pick the one you prefer and check if it's available for use. Next, fill in your details and complete the registration. Don't forget to confirm your email by logging in and clicking the verification link. And with the domain all sorted, it's time to dive into the fun part and start designing your website's look. And don't worry, you don't need any web design experience for this because Hostinger provides you with these two very convenient options. You can either pick a pre-built template, and as you can see, there are quite a few nice designs to choose from. You can also preview them by clicking right here. Or another option is using the AI website builder. Just answer a few questions about your business and watch as it magically creates your website for you. No matter which one you choose, you can always modify your website later. It just works as a great foundation to start with. So for this video, I'm going with the AI tool. As I said earlier, the AI creator will ask you a few questions. First, choose your website's type, whether it's an online store, blog, portfolio, or something else. I'll go with an online store since I'm, well, selling socks. Then enter your brand name, like Land of Socks, and a brief description of your brand and website version. For colors, just hit personalization settings and choose your palette. Or you can just let AI pick one for you. That's what I'm going with. Finally, hit create a website and check out the results. AI has crafted the text and visuals to showcase your brand. If you don't like what you see, you can click on create again at the top right corner. 
And don't worry, previously generated sites will be saved anyway, so you can generate a few and pick the best one later on. Or if you're pretty much okay with the result, click on edit and you'll be taken into the website builder's editor window. Now that you have your website set up, it's time to customize it and let your creativity shine. And not gonna lie, I'm mostly excited about this part. First, let's just take a quick look at what we have here. On the top left side, you can find the editor's menu, which contains all the main customization settings, such as adding new elements and pages, customizing styles, and so on. The website pages are located at the top in the header. Above them, you can find the undo buttons and your domain name. You can also click on preview and it will show you how your site would look like right now. The button go live is for publishing the website, but let's just stay away from it for now. Right here are these little laptop and phone icons. You are currently seeing the computer display, but when you click on the phone icon, you will be able to check how your site would look on a phone. And note that you can edit the mobile version without affecting the computer version and vice versa. The overall arrangement is also very simple to work with. Just grab any element, whether it's text, a button, or an image, and drag it wherever you want. Seems pretty easy, right? Now let's get back to the sidebar on the left and add some elements to your site. Click the top button to add any new items. You can drag and drop text, buttons, or anything else wherever you want. Next in line is pages and navigation. If you want a new page, simply click Add Page, choose from a variety of pre-made page layouts, or start from scratch by choosing a new empty page. Or you can also use AI to design a unique page for you, the same way you designed the whole website. Simply leave a short description of what you want, let's choose this one, and ask AI to create a blog page where we can share tips on how to style socks. If you want to rearrange your pages, simply drag them and place them wherever you want. As you can see, these two pages have just moved. Some websites can have many pages, so it's best to create drop-down menus to avoid overloading the header. To do that, just click here and then move to drop-down. Now your new page will nest under the page above it. The next customization option we'll explore is for the website style. Pick your favorite colors, fonts, and button designs right here. You can even add some cool animations or keep it simple with none. The choice is all yours. You can also add separate changes manually by selecting any text, then clicking here on Added Text and choosing the font size and layout. Let's put the website's name, Land of Socks, here. Plus, you can click the eye icon to adjust visibility. If you don't want this text on the mobile version, just turn it off. Now the three dots here give you some other basic settings, like duplicating, deleting, or moving the text front or back. The same goes for any element. Let's say you don't like the image that is given here. You can click on Change Image and either upload your own files or choose from the free images provided. It's up to you. You can also click on Edit Image and manage the image's settings like overlay opacity and proportions. You can give it a different shape and so on. Another thing, when you move your mouse around, you can see that the page is divided into these little sections. So if you want, you can remove one and make it bigger or smaller just by expanding it like this. You can also add a new section by clicking Add Section here right in the middle. Once again, you can choose between a blank section, AI generated, or one from the pre-made templates. The website header can also be edited. To make changes, click on Edit Header right here. You'll be able to control the layout, like making bigger spaces or changing the arrangement of the logo and page buttons. If you already have a logo, you can add it by clicking here and uploading it. You can also then change its width. If you scroll down, you'll see your website's footer section. It's similar to the header and will be visible on all your website pages. It usually contains contact information and your logo. If you don't want to have the footer on all your pages, you can press here on this eye icon and select to hide it from this page or any other page. And keep in mind that your website will automatically look a little bit different on mobile, but you can always edit it. It works the same way as the computer view. You can drag the items and change sizes, etc. Now, if you're creating your website to sell products and make money, just activate the e-commerce features. 
Let's say I want to start selling you've guessed it, socks, on my online store. To set this up, head to the sidebar, choose online store, and hit add store. The website builder will automatically add a store page with a section for listing your products. To edit your store page, go back to the online store menu and click on manage store. This will take you to the store manager. Now you'll have to set up your store by providing the store's name and let it be land of socks. I really don't know how many times I've said socks in this video, but let's just keep rolling with it, okay? Okay, so once the name is provided, choose the country and currency that you want to sell your products in and hit continue. Once the onboarding process is complete, you'll enter the store management area. To finish setting it up, you can follow the store setup checklist. First on the list is AI product creation. And here are a couple of exciting AI tools you can do this with. One of them is the AI product information generator. Instead of typing out a description, just simply upload a product photo, hit generate text, and let AI create a description for you. And it even translates the text based on your site's language. Now, how cool is that? Well, another cool feature is the AI-powered image background remover. Just upload your image and the AI will magically zap away the background. You can even choose a new background color if you want. Now, how awesome is that? And if you want to learn even more cool things about setting up an online store, check out our video tutorial on how to make an e-commerce website with hosting your website builder. The link is located right in the description. Now, I know that website building can be exciting, but also a bit time consuming. That's why I really recommend you try out some of the AI tools that the website builder offers for easier and faster content creation. For example, coming up with text for the website can sometimes be harder than it looks, especially if you're working solo and don't have a dedicated person for this. That's why there is an AI writer to make your life a lot easier. Just click on any text area you want to work on and select AI writer. Then add a short description of the content you want. For example, I want a catchy business description under the title saying that my business is passionate about socks and selling a wide variety of them. Then click create text and that's it. You can always ask AI to try again if needed or keep the text and continue writing. The same goes for images. Click on the image you want to change and select generate image or select it from the sidebar on the left by clicking on AI tools. Once the window opens, just leave a description, for example, socks happily dancing together, and then click create images. This will generate several unique images in PNG format based on the description. Choose the one you like or try a different prompt. And by the way, all your AI generated images will be accessible in the media library. And speaking of images, your brand's logo is also key. Don't have a logo? Well, no problem. Use the AI logo maker to create one in just seconds. Go to AI tools and pick the logo maker. This will take you to a separate hosting or logo maker page. Here you can describe how you want your logo to look like and choose a style. AI will generate some options for you to choose from, and if you don't like them, you can try giving a different prompt. Lastly, check out the AI heat map to see how users interact with your site. Well, simply put, it shows where they're likely to click, scroll, and spend the most time, with darker colors indicating higher attention. This tool helps you optimize your site for better visibility and smoother user experience. Well, you're almost there. But just before publishing your website, let's talk about search engine optimization, or SEO for short. This involves adjusting your site's content, structure, and technology to improve its ranking on search engines like Google. It can help you increase your site's visibility and bring in more visitors. Using keywords in titles, descriptions, headers, and body content of your website is a fundamental component of SEO methods. These are the words or phrases that people use to find the products or services your website offers. You can use tools such as Google Keyword Planner or a keyword tool to find trending search terms associated with your industry. For example, terms like best bakery in San Francisco on a San Francisco bakery's website could help boost its online presence. Once you know what keywords are best for your website, you can use hosting or builders SEO tools. Go to more settings on the left and choose SEO settings. 
posting your website builder will suggest keywords for you based on the page description and show you what the page will look like in search engines. Here you may see some yellow exclamation marks next to the page title. They indicate that these pages have some missed SEO opportunities. Once you click on the yellow page, the builder will highlight some of the focus areas regarding SEO and give you tips on how to improve them. For example, it might suggest missing keywords for your meta description, which shows up in search results, so you can add them. Just note that there is an AI SEO assistant over here. It will help you generate content that passes all SEO checkers so that all of these yellow marks turn green. Other important SEO aspects like site speed and mobile responsiveness are already taken care of by Hostinger. Another way to boost your brand's visibility is by adding a favicon. This tiny icon will appear next to your page title in the browser tab. To do that, return to Website Settings and Access General Settings. Click on Favicon and then on Add Image, where you can add your brand's logo and that's it. Finally, once you're happy and content with how your website looks, all there's left to do is publish it. But just before going live, check the setup checklist on the left to make sure you haven't missed anything important. I would also strongly recommend previewing your site once again by clicking this preview button. And if everything is looking good, just hit the go live button at the top right corner of the page. And there you have it. Your website is now launched and ready to be accessed by visitors. So that's it. Like I said, building your own website with hosting your website builder is pretty simple. And I really hope you feel the same way. Don't forget to explore the AI tools and other features to make your site stand out. And I wish you the best of luck with growing your business. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up, click that subscribe button and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.